a community health center like this represents is pretty darn unique. Jane Pauley is unique as the first female local television news anchor in Indianapolis who went on to national news success. The Warren Central High School graduate made news at 75th and Shadeland with the grand opening of another Jane Pauley Community Health Center. One, two, three. The center opened in Shadeland Station in a former grocery store, providing family medicine and behavioral health to anyone, insurance or not. We serve an underserved population, and so sometimes our patients have nowhere else to go for medical or behavioral health or dental services. When the community hospital network reaches out into neighborhoods, uh, over and over again. They are reaching into pockets of, of, of communities that don't have uh, ready access to a doctor. Medical assistant Melissa Jair gave the grand tour, showing off brand new exam rooms. We all have big hearts and we're all here for the community and we don't turn anyone away, not at all. And if you don't have insurance, it's not a big deal. This center has actually been seeing patients for about two months and becomes the 22nd Jane Pauley Community Health Center across five counties in central Indiana. A lot in my old uh, stomping grounds where the need is great, where access to health care um, uh, is, is, isn't met. The first Jane Pauley Community Health Center opened almost 10 years ago. I say the name knowing full well that, that uh, to the patients who come here, it's where the doctor is. It has nothing to do with my name. But in her name, the doctor is in for all patients, some 10% with no insurance. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. The Jane Pauley Community Health Center was established back in 2009 with support from the Warren Township School District and Community Health Network. It serves patients at 22 sites, but only 15 in five counties are open to the public. They offer everything from family medicine to OBGYN services. They also offer dental care and the much-needed behavioral health care. Well, we know about